I did. How's it work? Oh, you know. Work? Usual. Usual? How are you able to get up so early? What do you mean? Then you say you have work at like 10. You yeah, had work at 10 today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's all good. You drank some fucking coffee and. Yeah, work, you mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, last night. Coffee last night? Yeah. Or you drink, not a coffee, but uh, an energy drink. Monster juice. Yeah. You know, like the Chance the Rapper, the song. Were you able to fall asleep? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, after a while, because I, I had stuff to do. I had to do laundry. Is this recording? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Immediately, dude. Immediately, yeah. Dude, I thought that was the, I thought that was the deal. Or I thought that was yeah, not, sure. the, not the deal, I thought that was the plan. The deal. I, not, like, not like we had a deal, but yeah. I that, sold my soul to the fucking podcast, God. <laughs> You know, I figured... To the audio recorder. Dude, that whole 40 minute, like, whatever, yeah. basically it's like a megabyte per minute. And that's hold 4 gigabytes. So it's wow. a megabyte per minute. Because wow. it's like roughly 40, 40 megabytes. Oh, okay. Space. Yeah. So, at a megabyte per minute, that means that we're holding, like, how many meg... There's a thousand megabytes in a gigabyte. And that's 4 gigabytes. Yeah. That's 4,000 minutes. Yeah. I don't know how many, 4,000 divided by 60, I'm not a uh, super whiz kid, genius boy, so I'm going to slap this in my calculator on my phone. See, that's what I'm talking about, dude. There's no reason to make yourself not have a phone when you got podcasts, because uh, that's 66 hours. Wow. 66.6 repeating, so actually it's... That's sat- like a whole series. This is a whole, this, this is a whole Satan worth... Anyway, so this one recorder... A whole Satan worth. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we can hold one whole Satan worth of data on this recorder. So at, at one point in time, without even offloading any of it, we could hold 66 hours just on this recorder. And it's pretty okay quality. Also, um, uh, it came with a lav mic. You know what a lav mic is, right? No. It's the one that like clips to you. Oh, that's, a that's lav. cool. And it's pretty good quality i'd let you listen to it but we're recording so we can't do yeah. that okay um but it came with like a clip-on mic yeah. that you plug into the top and it has pretty good quality this thing was 30 dollars, and so i'm thinking for like sets projects maybe instead of trying to use that shotgun mic and have possibly bad audio quality yeah we could like if if we get legit have like each character have a mic on them. ever not not yeah or guest or whatever mm-hmm. yeah each character guest whatever per, any person can have a lav mic on them like so we just buy like two extra of these yeah that's a whole that's a that's an investment of 90 dollars right there yeah but 90 dollars for three mics that will pick up audio well is probably better than one mic that's not going to pick up audio sure. well we'll have to deal with wind yeah and eight. we have had to deal with wind and having to actually delete content because of wind see so, yeah, that's what i'm saying so this would yeah help as many, like, fallbacks as we can have, honestly, would be the greatest. Precisely, yeah. So, like, have, have the shotgun mic going, have these lav mics going. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's nothing more frustrating than watching something or listening to something and have something fail. Yeah. Anyway, so I didn't know what we were doing, but I just thought I'd stop the recording. Like, I feel like this is one of the most open podcasts I've ever seen. Like, we have... Because podcasts are usually people sitting in a room that yeah. like, hey man, we're gonna talk. Yeah. This is just literally it's it's listening to our general conversation. Yeah, it's like chill. <laughs> um. So so what I was saying is like I don't actually know what we're gonna do because I feel like when we're doing this podcast we could totally just like go do something. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I didn't know if you had any plans. I. It's nice because we're both kind of dressed up today. Yeah. Like you're in <laughs> that shirt and I I wore a sweater today. Yeah. It's is hot. it? It's is a it, little bit. Hot is it so hot out? Because it's getting. It's ninety three. Whoa. I mean, yeah, I've just car- been sitting under this fan. And that's what my car said. Day. Yeah, I didn't know what you were up to. I was like, I went to the subway, but I got a, I got out of work, and I was like, Yo, I, I texted the group chat. I was like, What are you guys doing? Oh, and I didn't, I didn't hear back. That. I didn't hear back from. Him. I was like, Oh shit! All right, well, okay. And Seth, or not Seth? Yeah, yeah, Seth replied. Yeah. Um, and he's like. For some reason, I was about to just call him Homie G. Yeah. I, was, I was like, his name's not Seth. His name's Homie G. <laughs> but no, it's Seth. Anyway, so Seth uh, was talking about like what or is Jew. what what do you what Jew Jew yeah our friend the Jew yeah straight up our Jew friend since he'll never listen to this probably 
That's what he gets. He gets to be called the Jew because also when I was listening to the podcast, I'm a lot louder than you are. Just like in general, yeah? even when we okay. have. The, I'll, I'll no, pay no, attention no. to it's, that. It's thing. not even like it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying observations about us as people. Yeah. And also sometimes when I'm speaking, words just run together. Like I was yeah. listening to it, and I said the like the words Kendrick Lamar, and just Kendrick Lamar. It didn't yeah. sound like Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. It didn't. Sometimes when I Language say words, is weird. it like just that. doesn't sound like words. But I think you understood it at the time. Yeah. Because like context and everything. yeah, context and also when you get to know me, you probably understand my my yeah. rhythms and shit. True. Anyway, so yeah, I didn't really have a plan. Um, things are going well here. Okay, that's good. On this Snapchat yeah. game. On the Snapchat game. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we can talk, you know, <laughs> more about that. The thing is, like like we said, you know, I don't really want to talk about, like, that super personal yeah, stuff. Yeah, like personal stuff. Like people's names and yeah. all that, and, you know, because that's just, like, that's weird. Yeah. Maybe once we get so far into this that it's, like, part of our lives. Yeah. Because then everyone will know. So everyone in our lives will be like, all right, this fucking anything can end up on the podcast. Well, oh, part of like just doing podcasts or being in vid- in videos at all is is just trying to build that strength of communication, I guess. So like, re- relating earlier to like me being a little bit more quiet, you yeah. know, like there's something like I want to build on. So if there's like, you know, if you want to, okay, so being fluent and you with the the slurring of words or whatever. Well, and also the lisp, but that's not gonna. Yeah. Nothing's gonna. I don't think that's just yeah. gonna go away. Yeah. <laughs> also, like listening to me become a black man is terrifying. Yeah. Just to listen to it. I mean, I can't imagine for anyone listening to this podcast how that sounds. I just, used, just yeah. you hear me at this register, you know, almost. I think uh, that's an F. I think my normal voice is at uh, pitch F. You you got a talent there if you're able to just decipher notes out of listening to them. That's what I learned from my trombone. So yeah. after playing trombone for long enough, like I know what, like I know what positions yeah. sound like. So I can tell you like, this yeah. is F. It's yeah. first position. Yeah. You don't move your slide for that one. You know what? This. The thing is actually it's hard to say because this could mean so many different notes. Any of the because there's seven. Any of the there's seven. Out. There's seven positions on a trombone. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, okay. seventh. So you have first. Just in in your, in your basic register, first position's F, and then mm-hmm. you go to E, which is second position, then E flat, which is the more common yep. used E, because it's in the key in the key of B flat. There's two flat. Oh, do you know much about music? I know. Um, do you know about like key signatures and shit? I I know a little bit about key signatures. I was, I was so, in orchestra for. Well, anyway, so the key of years. B flat. There's uh, for brass instruments for, um, or anything in the bass register, I should say. Yeah. There's two flats. Anything in the treble, I don't know, because usually they deal with sharps, not flats. Yeah. Usually treble deals with sharps, we deal with flats. It's, you know, it's our business. Anyway, so in the key of B-flat, there's two flats, which is B-flat and E-flat. Okay. And so E-flat, and key of B-flat is, like, the kind of basic universal key. Yeah. B-flat's the one that's just used. As well... The, if there's a universal time signature, it's 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Listen to any rap song. Usually it's 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. You're not going to hear rap songs that use, like, 5-8 or 6-3. Yeah. That you know? gets really interesting, though, when, when time if, signatures change in music. Yeah, but the thing is, rap doesn't do that because it's about lyrics and the flow. Yeah. I think it it would be dope if someone experimental, like... Not, not someone experimental, like, but if someone like Kendrick Lamar started experimenting with that. Because... I feel like there's probably experimental rappers out there that play with time signatures, because yeah. that is an interesting thing to play with, but yeah. they're not big enough, and they don't have enough influence. I feel like if an influential rapper did it, then that could f- change things. Yeah. You feel me? Like, triplet flows. Yeah. Triplet flows, like, da-da-da-da. Yeah. Migos flow. Da-da-da. Yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, it was brought on by Migos, um, for the most part. I mean, it's been around for a while, but really, who brought it to light... Um, it wasn't Migos, I forget. Actually, it might have been Migos, because they've been around for a while. Anyway, whoever it was that brought around triplet flows, they changed rap. Yeah. Be- because it's been around since the time of Biggie, but it didn't really get big until these people were like, you know, fucking... Their whole lyrical yeah. style is based yeah. off a of triplet flow. Anyway, so what I'm saying is that 
that could be the new triplet flow. The changing time signature in rap could be the triplet flow. Yeah. Because if someone goes from 4-4 four, four, to 3-4 to 5-8, like that would, how that would feel in a rap song, that could be legendary. Yeah. It has, I think, because once you start adding these musical elements to rap, because rap isn't generally seen as a musical thing. My brother who studies music theory will tell me that rap isn't music. <laughs> He'll be like, oh, it's just spoken word. It's like, fuck you. No, All right, Christian, he, eat my ass. He hasn't been paying attention, man, I feel like. There's a, there's a lot of people with, like, music degrees where, like, because I, there's some school in New York that I went and visited in, like. Juilliard? It, it could have been Juilliard. I forget the Juilliard's name. the school of music. When did you yeah. go to New York? Um, how did, how did boy my from. My junior year. Dope. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, but. Anyways, I was at this prestigious music school, and I was asking them about some things, and it's like, they they have a completely different focus than what's actually going on in, like, the mainstream yeah, yeah. music. Because it's more about, like, the history of music. They get so much into their studies, they're like, oh, well, this composer and that composer from history, and then the rest of us in the world are like, well, guess what, you know, we don't care about the history. Yeah. We care about Mingos and Quavo making beats right now. Yeah. We care about, you know, Juicy J. We care about fucking... Uh, donuts by or donut by yeah donuts by Jay Dillo. Jo- donuts by that's, Jay Dillo. That's two thousand three. I'm that's just not that long ago. I'm just saying, like that's what we're caring yeah. about, like yeah today. That's if I were to go to college you know, for music, it'd be for music production. It's I like it's like. like get with it, old timer. You talking about you know uh, Tchaikovsky and yeah. and all these Chopin and guess what? I'm listening to Kendrick Lamar and J Cole. Yeah, fucking hit the rhymes. You don't like J Cole, do you? Uh, I'm not as, like, excited about J. Cole as I am Kendrick Lamar, but J. Like, I, I do really enjoy Do you see his talent? J. Cole? Yeah. Can you recognize the talent? Maybe not. Okay. Well, that's in, well, that's well, interesting. Well, what, why do you enjoy J. Cole? J. Cole is a very good lyricist. Also, he... The way he doesn't rely on a beat. Because a lot of rappers, like, a big highlight of their rap is the beat. Yeah. Like, if they didn't have that sick track underneath their rap, it would fall apart. Like, Migos, do you think... Do you, or, is that Migos or Quavo? I forget. I don't... I don't know the yeah. difference between Migos and Quavo, and I just... I know they're both popular rappers and yeah. world rap groups. Is Quavo a person or a group? It's a Quavo. Or Quavo is a person. Quavo's a person, he's and Migos... Migos that... He's a part of Migos. Yeah. So that's why I don't get the difference. Anyway, walk it like I talk it. Yeah. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it. Like I talk it. That, like... I don't think it would be as hot without, like, its underlying... Like, if you just took out yeah. the, you know... There's some music that's, like, anti-music where the... the Basically, the entire composition that they're rapping over top of can just be, like, such strong distortion or fuzz or just, like, <laughs> destroyed music. What you and mean? It, like, like, uh, clipping. I was like, what you mean is Death Grips? Death Grips have, have done shit like that. I was going to say, are you trying to describe Death Grips? <laughs> there, there's, uh, there's many different artists who who experiment with distortion, but... I don't know yeah. if you get deep into this that kind of stuff, but, like, Charlie Parker is a really interesting musician. Why? Okay, so you know he played saxophone, right? No. Charlie... I don't know Charlie Parker. Charlie, you don't know Charlie Parker? That's no, like, do you know, I wasn't in band. Do you know Louis... Well, this it's just, like... Yeah. It's, like... Okay. That's some general knowledge, but uh, do you I know Louis Armstrong? Uh, he played trumpet. Yeah. Uh, you probably wouldn't know Miles Davis. I know Miles Davis. Bitches Brew. What? You know Bitches Brew by Miles Davis. It's a jazz album. Well, then you know Miles Davis at least. Charlie Parker might have shown up on that album. Okay. Depending on when it was made. Okay. Because Miles Davis outlived That's Charlie really Parker. Like dense. Charlie Parker only lived until like his 30s. Because he had a terrible heroin addiction. Yeah. But that's how he got so good at playing saxophone. Did he die at 27? 27? No, yeah. he wasn't a rock the, star. Do you no. know the 27 Club, though? Yeah, it's, I don't know all yeah. the members of it, yeah. but I know it's like the super-duper rock stars die at 27. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I don't know how old Post Malone is, but he doesn't have many years left because he's a rock star, obviously. I'm in popping Billy, yeah. like a rock star. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um... Charlie Parker, he's like, I don't know, he only did, lived until like 36 or something. Terrible heroin addiction because that's how he got so good at saxophone. 
he wanted to play saxophone, but, like, there wasn't enough time in the day. And so he took heroin to keep him up and keep him focused. Yeah. And so he just took heroin and played saxophone and got really, 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 really good at it. Like, better yeah. than anyone had ever been. Yeah. And the saxophones only came around in the 1800s, so it's like, it was from the 1800s, and he was playing it in 1930 and 40, so it's like... Yeah. It wasn't that long of a time for anyone to get good at it, but people still haven't really bested him. Like, yeah. no one's gotten that Like, there's good a lot again. of writers who, who take, like, stimulants, like... Coffee is the most popular one, but, like, Adderall, like, speeds and, like... Well, Adderall wasn't... Yeah. Adderall wasn't around then. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm not... Wait, what was the time? 1930s, 40s? No, I don't think so, no. At least it wasn't big. I think Adderall Her- came around in, like, the 80s. I was gonna say, it probably... I, I was gonna guess 80s. Yeah. Because that's when ADHD became a thing. And then everyone was doing so much Adderall, that, and no one knew of uh, people who, who, like, who would wind wind out or I don't know the term for it but they would sort of just like they would crash psychologically like they would be slower in a way okay after like years of using speed that makes sense but um anyway so he's got hyper good at yeah uh tax one he helped develop bebop which is a form of jazz um and basically it's like you play around the melody so you have the melody you know the melody is like the main notes and, you know, the main notes and whatnot, it's in the key and whatnot, and so there's the melody and then there's the harmony. So, basically, he would just play around the melody, never touching the melody itself, but only hinting at it. Hinting yeah. at where the melody should be, Yeah. but, like, he wouldn't get to it. That's really interesting. And so, uh, when you're talking about these people that, the rappers that make anti, yeah. um, that made me think of Charlie Parker, because yeah. it's like... He did anti music, and it's not like it was bad music, or it's not like it was yeah. not music. It's just people still don't understand it to this day. Yeah. Even when they know the subject so well, it's like they can know the subject to the T and still not understand bebop because it's it's not something you can write into words. It's a feeling. Yeah. Bebop is one of those kind of things. It's just like you have to experience it, and yeah. you, there's no words to describe it. There, there's some music where it'll play different melodies and different sides of the like the left and the right and the different melodies they'll wave at you in a certain way on they'll line up and it, people also experiment with like there's this guy Steve Reich who's a really like legendary music producer where all he he would really do is he would just shift uh the speed of one of he would he would have two tracks say it's like a drumming track or an audio track which is really fascinating like an audio track He'll play the same track, except he'll play one of the tracks just very slightly faster. So, like, over time... uh, They they grow apart. Yeah, they grow apart. And it turns into dual. Yeah, it turns into dual, and it creates, like... It's like a generator for sounds and and, uh, um, melodies. It's like amplification. Like, in your brain. It's not, like, drive. I want to say that. It's like... uh, I don't know, it's like a generator. Uh, and it's like, I don't know, it can be so brilliant because it's just so much coming at you. His way. last name is Reich. It's so simple. Yeah, I'll, I'll link you to it, Steve Reich. Steve Reich. Is he the third Reich or the fourth Reich? <laughs> I guess he'd, be have to, he'd have to be the fourth Reich. Yeah, probably, fourth Reich. <laughs> yeah, there we go, we got the fourth Reich here. Yeah, my cousin Cameron, he turned me on to uh, Steve Reich. Yeah. And I've, I've played around with those... Uh, um, ideas Cameron, and it's really interesting Cameron seems pretty chill except like all those guys like all the four that came yeah were just like totally gone they're gone no like just gone you know yeah, like they're, up there they're, yeah they're they're not uh, very well um, integrated into society yeah they're definitely outcasts yeah like they are the outcasts of the 90s yeah like they were born into it and they you know embraced it yeah and that's just you know that's cool. It's uh, it, I don't I don't I don't really know what to say about that that, the, um, I definitely value being integrated into, being integrated into society. Like, Do you feel like you're integrated into society? I feel like even I still live like on the margins. Yeah, it's uh, Cause I just the way I, like I was describing to you yesterday. I don't know if this was on the podcast or not because I forget at like what point yeah. in our conversation we got this recorder. Yeah. Um, side note for, like, anyone listening, 
basically we want to do this for a while and we just have interesting conversations like i met this man about a week ago yeah about a week ago we started hanging out about a week ago because it's monday and i think this is the first time that we like did weights together yeah uh so how many times have we hung out like four times totally yeah i don't know probably four or five yeah and that's like really crazy because he just moved here yeah, I just moved here from Kansas. And, like, we've already hung out, like, many a times, and it's because... And we're already starting a podcast together. Yeah, yeah. It's because, I don't know, we, we just click and we realize that we're both, like, uh, really, I guess, uh, I don't know, we just have a lot a lot to say and yeah. a lot of depth, I feel Basically, like. it's like, if Chase was actually a girl, I'd probably be like, this would be a romantic thing. But the thing yeah, is, You're like, gonna creep me out, though. No, <laughs> that's the thing. I like saying things like that. That's just yeah. kind of the things I say. But no, no. What I'm saying is like, like we got like this kind of like homey bond. Yeah. Like when, like I've gotten, like, I've gotten bonds like that with dudes. It's not like you're the first time I've gotten that bond with a dude. It's not like I just immediately want to fuck you. Like I'm just saying. Like at, just at our work, like you, you worked a thirteen and a half hour shift, and it was like my you're, second you're, day there. It was like you're one of us already. <laughs> you know, it was so quick, like. Yeah, you're, you're like we res like we as a group we respect you because you immediately just came in and just fucking threw yourself into it. Yeah, the first day. The company came- might not even be alive right now if you didn't show up magically. Really, I. <laughs> I mean, it was you that showed up. Like, imagine it if you weren't there that day. What do you think? What do you think would be different? I don't know. We would have probably closed a lot later. That's a fact. I think I, I closed, I basically closed almost every day I've worked. This is one of the two days that I've worked that I haven't closed. It's fun when you don't close. Also, I did, I did my first pizzas today. Yeah. Because, like, Nikki, I don't even know if she should be saying names. <laughs> Nikki. Nikki. She, she's not going to hear it, so fuck her. I don't like her at all. Okay. Just to be I, I don't think I don't, I don't think, like that woman. I think a lot of people don't really respect her position as, like, a... Uh, a lead? I don't respect her position as a, like... A person? A co-worker. Okay. Yeah, like, as a like, co-worker. E- even if she was, even if she was, like, my peer, which she isn't, she's technically my manager, even if she was my peer, I'd be like, I don't respect you. Yeah. Like, he, she keeps calling me bro. It's like the weirdest, like, don't just call me Cameron. Just call <laughs> me by my name. Call me Chatter. I don't care. Just don't call me, hey, bro. It's like, you're not cool. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, maybe Sam could do that, because I like yeah. Sam. Hey, Sam and, dude, Yeah, Sam and I are homies. It's like, dude, we understand each other, but she's like, hey, bro, can you, like, stop, stop, stop. I'm not going to get you a solo O. If you keep asking me, hey, bro, can, no, you're not getting a solo O. That Five Lakes burger is going to have to go without that O. <laughs> stop it. Get some help. Anyway. Wow. Uh, continuing. Anyway, she's like, hey, just go make some cheesy... Do you know how to make cheesy bread? And I was like... In turn, I was like, no. Yeah. Because I just wanted to get off the line. Yeah. I was like, let me... Because it was just her and I in the whole kitchen. I was like... Yeah. I was like, all right, fine. fine. I'll take this chance to get off the line. And so I just figured it all out. Yeah. Pizza's is really chill. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing with the dough. I've seen some people, like, uh, melt down on pizza, like, in a rush or something, and I don't understand how, like... I don't... The thing is, I can't melt down, though. Yeah. I just... I can't, like... Same. No matter what... No matter if people are yelling at me, like, telling me, hey, you need to go quicker, hey... It's like, I'm not gonna go... I'm going at the pace I'm gonna go at. Yeah. You telling me, hey, go quicker, guess what? <laughs> yeah. Nothing's gonna change. <laughs> like... Watch out. Nothing's changing. I feel like you have to learn that in order to cope, because if you can't cope... And you start escalating, you're gonna break down, and you're not. You're gonna fuck up more likely. Probably. More, yeah. more, yeah, more pro. There's a higher chance that you're gonna fuck up in order. Yeah, like the probability. Turns if you're up. if you're crying on fry. <laughs> hey man, but some. Okay. <laughs> There's a specific person that you're talking about right now. Specific person. That was just that was ridiculous. That was my like third day in or something yeah. that happened. I think it might have been my second. I don't even know. Just in case anyone hears this, like, I actually really enjoy working at Five Lakes. Like, I enjoy it, like, most of the people there. Like, I respect some I enjoy there. most of the people there. I'll, I'll give you that. Most of the people. Yeah. But, um, or with some, any company, really, people are just gonna have their dramas. And, and not everyone's perfect, you know? Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Like, I, really, I don't hate anyone. I really like our general manager. He's pretty cool. Yeah. He called me a dumbass, like, five times today. No. I was way. like, Yeah. 
I am. Because, no, because uh, I had to bring in my stuff so I could get, like, paid. Uh, like, yeah. my uh, bank card and, what, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, I also had to give him my social security and my driver's license. And so, whatever, Keith comes into the kitchen and he's like, hey, he was actually asking about Derek. He's like, hey, does Derek have all this in? Or can you contact Derek to get tell him to get this in? And I was like, hey, I don't have that. And they're like, we're not talking about you. I was like, well, I'm pretty sure I just don't have that in. And Keith was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so could you, like, grab that by tomorrow? Like, here's what you need. I was like, yeah, dude, I'll just grab it right now. It's in my trunk. Because I have that safe yeah. in my trunk. And uh, so I bring it in, and Keith's like, you're such a... It's like, he's, I don't know, he kept saying something about, like, me being a dork, but also me being, like, a genius or something. Like, it's, like, <laughs> it's a mix between the two, like, a dork and a genius. And then Andy comes in and is like, why do you have a big, like, safe? And like, oh, it's like, Keith was like, oh, it's yeah, it's his. He had it in his trunk. You're a dumbass. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, you could lose it if it's in your trunk. Well, you, well, I mean... It, it has literally everything. Yeah. Birth certificate, social security, yeah. enlistment papers, bank card, anything. You know, it has everything to my name. Yeah. The only thing it doesn't have is my driver's license. Yeah. Because that's on my body at all times. Anyway. Yeah. So, cool man, though. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, working, working there is pretty chill. I mean, like I said to some people, I don't know how long I'll stay there. Yeah. Because I feel like I've already reach the peak of where I'm gonna go with it sure which is weird to say but there's not much more I'm gonna get from that experience like yeah fry was super easy to learn I just did pizza today so I learned two things I haven't done flat top but it's not like flat top's hard yeah you know and it's not like I'm gonna become a manager anytime soon because Sam didn't leave Nikki's still there and for some reason lot or you said some people don't respect Nikki but then there's the other half of people who respect her entirely too much like that one person who cries online. Yeah. That, you know, some people respect her entirely too much. And it's like, usually it's actually, it's just the women. I mean, you can say that. Like, I can see why you say that. Well, it know. seems. I don't know any men that respect her similarly. I feel like it's just a whole, like, us against them mentality, too. With What, men against women? No, 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 no. With, I didn't know what you With, I about. guess, like, the workers and the higher ups. Like the owners. I'm not. I'm not against the. See, like a lot of people are against the owners. I'm not against the owners yet because I haven't really talked to him even. But I'm yeah. not. I'm not against. Uh, Andy. I'm not against Sam. Yeah. I just don't like the way Nikki talks or orders me at all. Because yeah. she's like, don't be wearing your headphones online. But also, specifically, Sam told me the day I like got hired. He's like, you can wear your headphones. Just have yeah. one in at a time. Yeah. You you follow Sam. Then. Yes. Sam is higher up than Nikki. See, that's what I'm saying. And so, like, the first... I was, I basically, I just, like, look at her. I just don't talk to her anymore. She gives me an order. I just don't say anything. Like, today, I was um, scraping off the cutting board, you know, because the cutting board is, like, attached to the station. I was scraping it with the knife, because I just do that, and I just... I, I like to keep it clean. I like to keep my station very clean. You probably come by yeah. and notice that. I'm a very orderly, clean person. Makes sense. You know. Um, and so I'm doing that. I'm just scraping everything off, and, like, also, I don't know if you've ever done this, but, like, if you scrape the cutting board with a knife, especially if it's been wet at some point, like, there's, like, juice that just sits inside of it, which is really weird, and I like to get that stuff out. Yeah. And it's the like cutting a, board? Like, if, yeah, if you just scrape it with a knife, just, like, run down it with a knife, it'll, there'll just be, like, colored water that piles up on your knife. Oh, that's fucking gross. Yeah, I know, that's why I like to just scrape all of it off, anyway. And so she, like, I'm doing that, and she's like, don't do that. You'll dull, uh, dull the blade. And sh how does she know that? Right. A, what science? Because, like, barbers use a leather strap, and they just run it down, up and down the leather strap to sharpen the blade. Yeah. I feel like it, it's what direction you're running it, in a way. Could be that, too. Well, I, I run it the proper direction. I don't, I don't run it like this. This. Yeah. Like, if, if the blade's... This is useless for a podcast, but this is also just our conversation anyway. So if I'm running it like this, that wouldn't be good. But I run it like this, like a uh, yeah. You drape it across the yeah, which surface. which should, if anything, pull pieces like fragments of metal off the blade and make it a smaller, whatever, make it a tighter angle, which would yeah. sharpen it. Yeah, if anything. And if you were to do that with a sharp knife, it would stay sharper longer. I feel like. 
Yep. Because I've seen my uncle. He he'll just he'll just do that on his pants. He'll just precisely run, run it down his pants and keep it sharp, it, like razor sharp too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so, and I just I didn't say anything. I just put the knife down and walked away. Yeah. Things like that. <laughs> well, I feel like you gotta learn to stand up for yourself in situations and like defend. Uh, my fr- one weekend, I'm especially when it's just Nikki and Andy there. I'm not about to stand up for myself because if she thinks I'm getting an attitude, she's immediately going to go talk to Andy. She did that the other day when I just, I wasn't saying, like I wasn't saying anything online. Yeah. I was doing my job, I was doing it at my pace. We had a rush, people were yelling at me, whatever. They're like, yeah. hey, you need to go fast. Need, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just yeah. going to go at my pace. You know, fuck you, I'm not trying to rush. You know what I should do? I should go online and be slow as fuck, and then they'll be like, okay, we need you on a day, like, that we really need you. And then, mm-hmm. like, when they yell at me, they'll actually see me go faster. So, it'll, like, satiate that that thing where they want that from you. And yeah. then just, like, that's my pace. <laughs> yeah. And so, so you just go ex- what you're telling me to do is go extra slow. And then when they're like, hey, pick it up. Pick it up to my normal pace. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. That's maybe. That might be a good idea. Although I think they might. I don't know if they know. Anyway. So, you know, I'm just whatever and she talks to Andy and she's like I figure she's like cause I don't I didn't hear her talk to him yeah but saying like hey Cameron something's wrong with Cameron today he's going slow he's not responsive he's not talking it's just cause A I don't want to talk to you and B yeah. I'm going at my pace and no amount of yelling at me is gonna change that yeah like one thing I'm, I'm a calm headed person I don't get mad I don't get angry I don't rush I don't get stressed yeah. I yeah, just, that's exactly me. And then people will come along and they'll be like, okay, we need... It's funny because every time she closes, she wants me to close as fast as I possibly can. And she says that. Like, she's like, okay, close that as fast as you possibly can. And I close it just at my normal How speed. many chins does she have when she says it? Huh? How many chins does she have when she says <laughs> I it? I don't even look at her face, dude. I know I don't <laughs> either because I vomit. It's like... Oh my God, but like... She Const- tells me, constantly is like an extra it it's hilarious because she told me to go faster and I just went my normal speed and then like the day the next time I worked with her and we closed again she's like remember last time when you closed so fast like can we can you do that again <laughs> it's like no I mean yes I guess because like that's the speed that I clo- like I always close at <laughs> it's like it's equal to always so sure why not <laughs> I don't know it's just yeah, they're always like, you need to be your 110%. As if this was some five-star restaurant that deserves your 110%. Yeah. Like, where are five sometimes I Sometimes I do, like, rush. It Like, I do turn it up a notch if it's, like, on dish or something. Because, I don't know, I, I see more reasons to go faster with that. Like, I don't, I feel like I want to make errors. I just, I go at an enjoyable pace. No matter what I'm doing, I don't, I don't go at an uncomfortable pace. Always, it's comfortable. I, yeah, I have a podcast I want to show you. It's this guy, David Goggins, and it's basically, like, that whole thing where it's, like, comfort isn't always what's best for you, you know? And, like, I don't know. I, I'd like to be able to push my uh, comfort zones with, like, working at a faster pace. But one thing that I really value is, like, my own health. And, like, if I'm rushing, in, especially in, like, physical labor or something, like, I... I don't know. Like I, I'm just trying to be safe. Well, if you add that stress to your life, I mean, the, you're, yeah, you're going stress. to be lower on the dominance hierarchy. All this, you know, it comes yes. with it. So if you, I don't want to stress my, I specifically don't stress myself because I know the negative effects that come with it. Yeah. And so when people try to stress me out, like specifically try to stress me out, I just don't let it happen. Yeah. I've I've learned. I don't. I couldn't even tell you how. I couldn't walk you through it. But I've learned how to just not stress yeah i take life at a walking pace well me and you are really low in uh neuroticism and, mm-hmm. and I'm probably not... withdrawal and like all all those traits that fall underneath that but like yeah like dominance hierarchies are just you know big to me and uh yeah staying uh calm is like staying logical too like i really believe in that but I mean, there are definitely times where aggression is necessary, like you get beefy with people. Yeah, like dude, I tell you what, no, I think, I think I mean, another week or so. I don't know. After a bit more in, I'm gonna start getting beefy with people. Yeah. Not beefy like with star beef, but like, 
Yeah. I'm gonna be big me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when when Nikki starts shouting me down, I'll be like, fuck you, bitch. No. <laughs> you and, can't just and, say that. Andy's Andy's standing right there, just Andy looking at us, just trying to, you know, be like ma- manage us. Nikki turns to me, Cam, you need to hurry up on that order. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dude. throw grease at her <laughs> total alpha just, just totally throw all the tots on the floor and like <laughs> throw them. and then kick you, them you, towards you, her you, you need to you need to hurry up on that those nader tots toss the tots onto a plate rip off rip off my pants shit on them throw it at them <laughs> full plate tots and shit and all just right take, at her face just take the plate with the tots on it and throw it in the deep fryer <laughs> <laughs> Did you see when I put that rib bone in the fryer? Or, yeah. Or it wasn't. You just put it in the basket. It was a pork bone. But you put it in the basket. Yeah, put, put it in the, in the basket. So about that speaker. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't even know if I want to discuss this on this podcast. <laughs> Let's just say I witnessed. Um, you witnessed? Yeah, I witnessed. I'll um, say you took part. No, I. I mean. You were Depend, depends how you define I'll just give part. you half blame. I want to give each of you half blame. Okay, so I saw a speaker go inside of a microwave, and I saw it get cooked for approximately <laughs> six, six seconds. seconds. <laughs> All six. And then when it was recovered from the microwave, it was, like, smoking. So we just, like, we backed away from it. Yeah, while I'm playing Super Duper Kyle on that speaker. And then, and then like, there was a... There's a fan blowing on it, basically. So, mm-hmm. like, the whole line reeked of, like, burning plastic. Yeah. And when I when I picked up the speaker, you guys were watching me, and I just smelled it. Because I could feel its warmth. Did you see us laughing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw you guys laughing the whole time. When you guys put... <laughs> when the speaker went in the mic radio, when, when my music turned off for no reason. Because I meet, like, just tossing the mic, and boop, there goes Super Duper Kyle, gone. Anyway, so the whole time I saw you guys laughing... And so, like, I pick up the speaker, it's warm. Because I was wondering, was, well, I wanted to, you know, use it, and it was dead. And I was like, oh, maybe I need to plug it in. So I, I like, try to plug it in. Like, oh, the red light won't turn on. Oh, wonder what's up with it. Plug it in, plug it in. Oh, nothing's going on. And I try a different uh, USB outlet, because maybe, yeah. maybe just, like, my charger is fucked. Or, you know, who knows? So I try a different USB thing. Nothing. And it feels warm. I was kind of scared when you put a USB cord in it. And it feels warm, and I'm like, hmm, what's going on here? So I give a little. It smells like burning plastic. <laughs> so I knew something was up. I knew it was. I knew that speaker was dead. And Allie was like, "I don't know what's up with it." And she's looking. And I'm like, uh, at that point, I already all all thinking emoji like. Hmm. Yeah, at that point, I already knew. I was like, mm, "Okay, good job, guys. Great, great idea." Thankfully, it wasn't my speaker. <laughs> yeah. I love. I actually love my speaker. Yeah. Um, because it fits quite well in my pocket. How much was it? That speaker, yeah. I didn't pay for it. I got it for my birthday. Nice, but do you know how much it, it runs? Probably, for? probably about forty, fifty dollars. Dude, that that's pretty. That's really solid right there. It's a pretty solid speaker, but I like it because it fits in my pocket. Yeah. It's like I can slap it in my pocket and play music that just follows me. Yeah, that's that's essential. So I got phone in one pocket, speaker in the other. I keep a you know like I keep a whole bunch of things in my pocket. American basically. flag pen. I keep my pockets full basically is what I'm saying here. I got electrical tape in my butt right now. Why? Right here? Electrical? Why? I like to keep electrical tape on me. Why? It's just handy. Like yesterday I used it to repair my headphones. Oh, uh, is it because your headphones are fucked? <laughs> yeah. But no, it's just, it can be useful at times, not just specifically my headphones. But like, um, uh, were you the one telling me to just break these, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but see, now it's... Is it getting there? No, it's, no, it's just I'm just saying it's pretty good. It was it was there. What I'm saying is like with the electrical tape on it. Both of what them have the like, wires be exposed under this though. Well, there's also like a oh, yeah. main board in here. I can I can tell you right now there's a board right there. There's batteries that run this length. Cuz they got to hide the battery somewhere in here. It's in True. it's just in this casing. And so in these little things that go all the way out here, here's another board cuz it has buttons on it. Um. So yeah. Dude, Bluetooth headphones are so good. For Prime. Me. Like yeah. They're so good. Yo. Yo. How so, much did you sell your ass for Bluetooth? No. <laughs> what? I don't. 
We're, this is recording right now. <laughs> so we're saying that we don't smoke ass? The yeah. Fuck? I smoke ass. I will I will be open on the recording and saying that I do smoke ass. Jeez. Dude, I do get, get in the... Do you not... Are you telling me you don't get in the booty like groceries? Yep. I like my groceries. What? I said I do like my groceries. I got spam and eggs and... See, spam's a good time, but I'm just yeah, I'm saying... Ever... I'm saying that, like, eating ass is a good time, so I don't know what you two are so ashamed about. You ever Jeez. throw a... It's all right. You ever throw a Spam in, uh... In, uh... Macaroni and cheese? Yeah, it's fucking delicious. How much... Do you guys need to talk about eating ass somewhere else oh, or something? I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys... Okay. Uh... It, well, if these two fools won't be open... Uh, dude, eating ass, straight up. Never done, never done. Never that. done it, but I I I eat ass. That's like uh you know Papa Franco, you know he he led Papa me into Frank. this. Papa Franco is. I mean that's how I lost so much weight is I stopped eating ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, ass is full of fat, dude. <laughs> it's it's good for you. It's nice and tasty. I'd imagine. I don't know. Oh, uh, what were we talking about before your brother came in asking about eating ass? <laughs> I don't know, but I was gonna look. I was gonna look something up because of it. Eating ass? No, what we were talking about before. Oh, see, here's another one of those points where it's like. Oh, you're... Bluetooth headphones. Oh, Bluetooth headphones. You want? What do you want to look up about them? I was gonna look up the ones that I have. See if there's like a newer kind or some shit. Gotcha. Well, these are the Samsung Gear, and I know there's or Samsung level, not Gear. Samsung level, I know is there's. Is your phone a, Samsung? This? Yeah. Is this Samsung? Is it? No, it's, it's iPhone. Oh. I wish it was a Samsung. Why? Damn. iPhone suck. Like my charging port is a piece of trash. All right. It's a piece of garbage. Pizza garbage. <laughs> also, I, I just hate that I can't get reception in here. Yeah. I wish I had, I had like, a Samsung or something. Like, uh... I don't know. I, th I think I'm going to invest in a laptop, though. Yeah? Dude. You need to check this out. These are only $13. Brand new. They're, like, 50 to 75 I think. Well, see, what I'm saying here is, um, how much charge do they hold? Like, how long can you play them for? I think... That's the most important thing to me. Like, audio quality is also a good question. Three to five hours, I think. So, yes. Mm -hmm. The audio quality is bomb, though. That doesn't get me through a work day. This thing gets me through a work day. Yeah. She's old and she's rough, but, you know what? It, it gets the job done. I use these for going for runs or whatever. Ooh. <sighs> I mean, I use these for runs too, but no, uh, it's all good. It's a, it's a good life. I'm talking to a lot of inspirational people these days, and it's, it's you are. It's good for your health, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's why I'm like I'm like extroverted, but I'm introverted in the sense that like I really restrain my influences to um, people on the internet for the most part. I'll talk to anyone, dude. Really? I, you only talk to people on the internet? No, I don't. I mean, I do talk to people on the internet, but um, like I'm saying, like watching podcasts and stuff like that, like I try to do that more than I hang out with friends, if that makes sense. Yeah, dude, I nabbed this card from Sam's Locker. What is it? It's Well, it's, it's actually, it's like a I think it's a business card, technically. Yeah. But it's also a gift card. Yeah. But I just like, I just like uh, having business cards sometimes. Yeah. I got my, I got Oswald. Effingham? And, yeah. Oswald and my old pastor's business cards. Reverend Brian T. Stark. I want a 4K laptop, if that's possible. <laughs> uh... I feel like that'd be expensive. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. 4K is so dope. I don't even. I'm not even down on the 4K train, dude. Why not? Cause Have like, you seen it? 4K? Yeah. yeah. You're just, probably more exposed to it than me, though. I'm just not on that train, dude. Yeah. Because people are like, oh, man, you need 4K. You need 4K or else you're not even living, dude. dude <laughs> yeah. you, you're not even having a... If your computer can't support 4K, dude, dude, you're not even playing games. It's like, I'm fine at 1080p, dude. Yeah. It's like, I don't need no 4K. Because also for 4K, you have, a, have to have a 4K monitor. And most laptops wouldn't even display in 4K because do you know how, know how much power that takes? Yeah, a lot. Like... There's ridiculous things to deal with there, and so, you know, I'm just, I'm kicking it. I got a computer that works, you know. I offered to sell Seth my graphics card for 200 which yeah. is a real deal, because the graphics card market right now is shit. Yeah, why would you sell it to him? Uh, you be, need money? No, I don't, I don't need money. It's just, like, he needs stuff, and if we're doing this whole collaboration shit. Yeah. But I wouldn't just give it away, damn. Yeah. I mean, like, because... Because if he gave me $200 for it, that means I could buy, probably buy more equipment for this. You know, so I could buy more audio recorders or, you know, whatever. Let's see, today is Monday. Wednesday, I'm going to try and go learn how to play Magic. Wednesday? Wednesday. At the Magic shop? I figure I need to start hanging out there if I'm going to think about asking them to rent space. Yeah, you would have to get close for them. That's what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go learn how to play magic there. Because Wednesday you're gonna you're gonna duel them in magic and defeat them. Wednesday's a casual day. Store. Yeah, I already bought a whole deck. And so I figure, the thing about magic is it's just like any card game, in that you don't have all that much decision power. Like it's just random cards and kind of how they lay out. And so the best thing you can do is, like, build a deck and try to make it strong so that any card you pull out is going to be strong. But, like, yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, so I, I have a deck now, and I'm, I'm just going to go, like, go up and just try to slap their cheeks. New kid <laughs> slapping cheeks up here at the magic shop. <laughs> be like, yeah. bitcherinos, if you want to learn my skill, you're going to have to give me your cards for it. So I'll, I'll teach you lessons about how to play the magic if you guys give me your cards. <laughs> That's a fair trade. And and then Are you, have you yet to duel anyone? I've never played, so yes. Okay. Is Are, it why is it interesting to you though? Is magic interesting? Yeah. Why is magic? Because I don't know. I'm. It's not really interesting to me. But you bought a deck. Yeah, it was only thirty dollars. Is that just so you could tell people, hey, you want to see my deck? Dude. I'll show people my dick. <laughs> you know me well enough. I'm yeah. not. I'm not bashful. I swear, if Alex or someone asked me to just whip it out in the line, I'd be like, "All right, fine." Dude, Alex might fucking say that. <laughs> like, you know, I know you would say that, but then you would immediately take it back because yeah. you wouldn't want me to just whip my cock out. Seth might say that. You know me too well, and you know that I would. You know, you know me now. Now that you know me too well, you wouldn't probably say that to me. Yeah. Because you told me, "Hey, whip your dick out." I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, dude." Yeah, dude, this whole this thing is a whole forty eight minutes in. That's nice. Yeah, for, we almost got fifty minutes of content again. <laughs> I mean, we just gotta like. I mean, I temporarily I temporarily upload the first one, but once we come up with a name, we'll come up we'll find a YouTube channel, and then we'll properly upload it. Okay. And f to make a SoundCloud, I have to pay. So, like, to upload to oh. SoundCloud, I'd have to pay. And so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Damn. Because um, I get, like, 180 free minutes of upload. That's not enough. <laughs> but I have to pay, like, $8 a month for uh, SoundCloud. That's... Damn. Yeah, pretty sure. Well, you get pro, too. Like, you can listen to any music and download music, right? I'm not, I'm not that down with SoundCloud anymore. Yeah. Because I got all the music I need on my phone already. Yeah. And so I don't really need, like, a streaming service. I actually don't prefer st streaming services because I just like to own my physical copies. Like, I want that music to be mine, you know? Yeah. The only thing I do like about streaming services is, like, the analytics. Like, you were talking about the other day. You've listened to almost 90,000 minutes. Yeah. Yearly. A, a year. 
yeah, on Spotify. Yeah, 90,000 minutes a year. And I like the analytics part of it because it'll tell me, hey, here's how much life you're wasting on music. <laughs> Dummy. You listen to this, you listen to the song Mad Kid, Mad, Mad Kid, Mad City, Good Kid, Mad City, 50,000 times. It's like, yeah, it's a good song. It's a banger, dude. Bro, bro, Hamio. Don't mess with me. It's a banger. It's a classic, dude. Uh, you still need to check out 2070 Paradigm Shift. Yeah. For all you listeners out there, I think I said this in the first pack podcast, and I'll say it again. Sam Hyde, smartest man of our time. When this podcast blows up, Sam Hyde, hit me up. Uh, and just don't blow up my school. So now you're the notorious uh, school shooter. So don't do not do that. But what you should do, come on this podcast, Sam, and we'll uh, chill. We'll have a good time. We'll talk about your Jamaican-ness, and we'll talk about uh, not school shootings, probably, hopefully. Talk about your new projects, dude. I'm waiting to see Million Dollar Extreme where that goes, because Million Dollar Extreme got pulled off Adult Swim. Thanks, thanks Tim Heidecker being a bitch Tim Heidecker if you're out there listening to this podcast fuck you anyway uh, you know, so good on you Sammy love you good boy also you know, anyone out there in the world that wants to hop on this podcast or maybe we can hop on a podcast you know you ever watch yeah. the, you ever watch the official podcast no the official podcast with Critical it's a good time okay it's Critical his friends Jack Andrew and uh, Middle Eastern Man. I don't remember the last one's name, so I'm just going to call him Middle Eastern Man because he lives in Turkey. Pretty Kaya. Kaya is his name. Anyway, so it's four dudes and they just have guests on sometimes. It's a pretty good podcast. You want to know my favorite podcast huh. that got me into podcasts huh. as an idea? It was called Sleepy Cast. I know what that is. You know Sleepy Cast? Yeah. My it's, friend James was really into that. It's legitimately my favorite podcast ever. Like, even Joe Rogan Experience doesn't top that in my heart. Why? Joe Rogan Experience is good, but Sleepy Cast. That's what brought me to podcasts. That's I'm in so, it for, like, the information. So many hours about. of enjoyment. No, that was just pure enjoyment. That was yeah. comedy. They were laughing, man. Yeah. You know, they were ha 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 woo hoo hoo funny, man. Yeah. There were a whole bunch of animators, and they had real cool life experiences. I just love listening to them. So, anyone out there... Go listen to Sleepy Cast instead of us. <laughs> they're funnier. We're going to keep recommending you guys things that you should tune into that is not this. And then say not this. <laughs> and then say don't listen to us anymore because we're a bunch of dummies. Yeah. Whole bunch of dum-dums. Poopy faces, brown noses. No. <laughs> we, still have, we still have... Wait, hold up. What time is it? It is... 9.30. Memorial no. Day, right? 9.30. Damn. Uh, yo, thing to do. You wanna try that Sonic again? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. See, Hell this yeah. is the thing about the podcast: taking it on the road, taking it on the road. Take it easy, man, but take it. Um, so like, end of this week. You want me to buy that laptop, by the way? End of this week, like what day? Friday. I don't know. I was just. You said you need it for about a week, and so I was just asking, like. Uh, yeah, Friday would be fine. Maybe yeah. even earlier. Bromeo and Juliet. Like, Fr- Friday would probably be best, because then I'd order a new laptop, like, in the next day or so. Yeah, because you get paid. You get paid on Friday, right? Well, I just have money saved up, so... Oh. Like, but, yeah. So. But you have, you have physical money, though. Yeah. I, I how just, you, I you just keep a little bit off. How are you going to buy a laptop with physical money? With physical money, are you saying I should buy it in like coin? <laughs> well, I buy it. I usually buy my things online. Yeah, that's, I rarely buy yeah, things in yeah, person. Yeah, definitely. I always shop online. And so I'm saying is, how do you shop that online with physical money? I'm surprised like people aren't constantly shopping online. Well, I do. I mean, actually, I used to. Now that I'm like in between houses, I don't really. I don't really shop online anymore because I don't really have that permanent of an address anymore. Like, I almost bought my fucking shampoo off the internet. Really? How do you like that new stuff that we got? I I don't know if I've used it because I'm going through the old stuff. Oh, I got you. I feel you. But, yeah. 
Because I think this is, if, if this podcast ever turns oh it. <laughs> that's fucking dope, dude. I feel like if this podcast ever turns into something, like the fact that we're so mobile is going to be a staple. Although it would be nice to have like a baller ass setup that's actually legit. Like imagine if you're just watching Joe Rogan and they're like, fuck this place, like let's go somewhere else. I'll say I need to toss out all this trash, so we're gonna stop at like a gas station so I can do that. Because I got a like real garbagey smell in here, kinda. Just smells like a car to me, I guess. Oh, well maybe it's just maybe it's because I spent so much time in here. I've been in some really dank cars before though. Yeah? I've been next to some really smelly people in cars before. I don't know if you've ever. You done that dank weed? I'm not gonna. I don't answer questions like that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, it's, it's interesting. I just I don't know. Uh, I don't but know. like I'm saying, like next to people who are like really smelly, not like dank as in ganja. But no, like, I I got what you mean. I was just making a joke. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if like I was I was making a joke too. Okay. So, have you done the dank weed? Or is that is that a non-podcast topic? I mean, I can say that I've tried weed. Okay. And we are eight. Have you ever ate a little weed? Yeah. How was your experience with edibles? Is I'm it- gonna th- I'm gonna talk about edibles right now. Okay. So <laughs> you're like, oh, this is a new topic. Okay, let's. Okay, so one time I had an edible, and I guess there was um, two grams worth of ass of uh plant material in in the edible that sounds like a lot yeah it was a lot like two grams it's like anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars depending on where you live maybe even 30 dollars or even 40 but actually one of my one of my friends in uh i used to go to high school with his name's alex yeah so I'll just call him Alex. I'm not gonna say his last name. Okay. He lives out in like Colorado and Idaho now. Yeah. But like in a, he does things in Idaho where it's still illegal. Yeah. Um he sells it for like sixty a gram. In Idaho? Yeah. Boise, I've never heard it. Boise, yeah. Idaho. I've never heard it sell for that much unless it's like some scientific shit, you know. I don't know how premium it is, but But let's just say what I had was like pretty good. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, what we got going on? Wait, who is that? That's the one from Five Lakes. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Who is that? You should run in front of them. Okay, let's, let's, I'll turn into that parking lot and we'll figure out who this is. Be like, yo. Are they running with a pizza? Yes, they're running with a pizza box. Do we do deliveries? <laughs> do we deliver? If so, no. they just delivered on foot. <laughs> Which is interesting as hell. No, it's, you see, that's why I said it there, because that has grip. Yeah. But I want to figure out... Yo, roll down your way. Uh, I don't know. Should we even do this? Okay. No, let's, let's just we, let's just drive back here as if we're just like not doing whatever. Can you figure out who that is though? You should just up. Uh, um, park up here. Yeah. Like here? Yeah. Sure. Okay. That's a weird ass spot. Also, was that like, Nate in there? Was that Nate? Yeah. I don't. I could have been. Spot it. Uh, dude. Yeah, we're just gonna chill here for a second so we don't look like total weirdos, but I still wanna know who the fuck that was. Okay, I'll talk about my edible experience now. So I'm gonna reverse now. So when it kicked in not long after it kicked in it felt like I was oh, in a fuck back out. It felt um, like I, I was in a yeah, desert. I don't know who the fuck that is. Dude, who the fuck is that? I don't know that per- what they're if- getting into a vehicle, okay. Now I'm inter- I'm I'm not I don't know anymore. New coworker probably. Maybe. Are we are we stalking new coworkers? Yeah, that's interesting. So, anyways, my experience I I ate two grams and um, it felt like I was dehydrating, like a corpse in the desert. Like my eyes were drying out, my throat was drying out. Damn, I could feel the dryness creeping down my throat, and and I was also what's called couch locked, which is where I'm essentially immobile. I can't move, and I I'm just strapped to my bed it feels like and I'm dehydrating it's almost as if I'm going to die are you sure a girl didn't strap you to your bed and, like it wasn't some... a girl no I'm just what? it was a plant no I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh no I was just saying are you sure you didn't like while you're high you didn't get strapped to your bed like some domination kind of shit I'm pretty sure okay and and yeah I feel like, like you know if that happened but yet again I'm not 100% okay so and when you're in that state, you're 
really paranoid, or you could be really paranoid, and I was really paranoid. I actually, I couldn't move, so I called out to my cousin to get me some water. He called out to God himself. Yeah, I called out to God, and then I got some tap water, and the water at our house is not that great, so it tasted like shit, but the biggest thing was it felt so weird going down my dry throat that I immediately rushed into the bathroom and threw up. Nice. Yeah, and that was not a fun experience. I was, I was high for like 24 hours straight. Plus. Obviously you didn't do edibles ever since. No, I haven't done edibles since. Yeah, sounds like a bad trip. Well, actually I did edibles one time at the mall, but it was way, way smaller of a dose. Was it that small in Granville? Yeah, uh, not Tanger, or Tanger. No, no, but the one in, like, the big one. Yeah, Rivertown, yeah. How is that place? I've never been there. Is it dope? Uh, it's like, if you're so fucking bored that all you can do is walk around, then yes. Yeah. Like, before you go and watch a movie, that's when you should Is there a movie theater there, too? Yeah. Damn, dude. I know the new date spot. The new date spot. (laughs) That place. Well, that whole area, because, like, you got some frozen yogurt. Sweet yo's have been inside there, and also you got orange leaf. Personally, I prefer orange leaf. You yeah. got orange leaf back in Kansas. Yeah. So, like, it makes me feel good on the inside knowing that there's still an orange leaf around. Yeah. Um, so, orange leaf is a hard thing. Also, Five Guys is in my heart. Yeah. And so, I've seen movies, getting some Five Guys, and yeah, now that could be a good time. Yeah. Be a good ass time. I've, I've been to Five Guys one time. And it is and amazing. You're, and you're like, this is a slamming burger, dude. Yeah, it's just for the experience ball, really. It's just like, you I'm just, gonna you just want that five, you want five guys. Yeah. I wanted experience. the five guys experience. You don't, I you, got, you don't have the experience of five guys? I got so slammed <laughs> in my taste buds. You got slammed by five guys? Yeah. Fuck all, yeah. All over my tongue. All over your tongue, dude. I feel <laughs> you. And, and inside of you. Down, down your no. throat. Down your throat, no. Because it throat. went down your throat. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Five guys went down my throat. Yeah. Burgers and fries. Burgers and fries. Five guys, burgers and fries, all went down your throat at once. Yeah. Nice. I swear those people are like racing. Did you nom on some hot, hot fries? No. 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 Just burger. Yeah. Did you have a bun? Yeah. Interesting. That was before I did ketosis. That was like when I was peaking in my fatness. Mm, man, yeah. so so if, if if at the peak of your fatness you enjoyed a burger that much, that yeah. means it was a really good burger. Yeah. Because a burger these days to me is really special. Yeah. Like even that one last night's steak and shake was really special. Yeah. But like uh, back then, it's hard for a burger to be that special. I'm not sh- I'm not entirely sure on my opinion of burgers and like my mor- my moral feelings about it because. Okay, are you about to tell me that you feel bad for them cattle? No. Okay, I was I'm about gonna to say. say that I feel bad if this is true, and I don't know if it is, but apparently there's a lot of deforestation, and the cause for most of the deforestation in the Amazon is so we can plant soya bean farms, and that's to feed the cows soya beans for okay, their diet. So, okay, so if we deforest, what do we lose? Well, I also want to play devil's advocate. It's not like I actually believe in this, but, you know, let's just have a conversation. So if we we've, deforest, what do we lose? We've, also, why are so many people going north on Memorial Day? I don't know. Usually people go south because you go north the day before and then you go south the day after, but people are going north the day of. What is this? I mean, isn't that the way that you, Michigan usually runs? Maybe they're going to the city to... See, see fireworks or some shit. True, there could be fucking fireworks going on, which is ass. But yeah, again, we're not going to the city, so it's cool. We might actually, we might end up in the city. Who knows? I want to get a tattoo one of these days. Like, not a big one that I'm gonna spend like hundreds of dollars on. But I'm not doing that. That's, <laughs> a, that's another one of those navy things I just cannot do. Oh yeah, can you only get a one by one inch? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Okay. I don't. It's just some. I don't. I don't care enough about it to True. find out the legalities. Yeah. Like if I cared super deeply about it, yeah. I might like find out the way. Yeah. But I don't care enough. Yeah. 
the thing is, if you, like, you can't get a tattoo before your ship date because that's considered an open wound. Oh. And you can't ship off with an open wound. I feel like people get the shittiest tattoos. Like, they're so, like, meaningless, it seems like. Like, yeah. you can, some tattoos, you're like, oh, this person was drinking and got a tattoo. This whole war of 100th Street, like, I've heard some of it. It sucks ass. What do you mean? Like, 100th in the bridge over here being like, oh, it's a fucking local joke because people hit it all the time. Yeah. I'm like, that's a... If that's what you guys see as, like, a local joke, you have boring lives. Yeah. Like, if that's, if that's a funny thing to you in your life, it's like, all right, you're a boring person and you need help. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, some things people talk about, they're just, like, very shallow and uh, superficial. Like, I don't know. The season's changing. <laughs> yeah? Or, like, I don't know. I love it when the season's change because that means that winter's coming. True. I love winter. You like the fall, so it's, you know, bitchy. Yeah. It's all good because you only get, like, two months of summer here in Michigan. Yeah. We're at the start of month one, and then Still so long, at the beginning of August is the end of month two, and then after August it goes directly to winter. That's what it seems like. Because like sometimes in October it's already snowing. Yeah. And that's August, September, October. That's another two months to winter, and then you don't get out of winter until sometimes the start of May. I swear you know more about Michigan than I know about it. About Michigan. <laughs> um, it was. It's home. Yeah. I mean, it's home to you too. How much time have you spent in Michigan in your entire life? In my entire life, well, you got three years plus summers plus. So I'd say a good half. I would probably like roughly half my life here. Okay. That's cool. But it's way more up north, right? I mean, closer up north. I mean, to from from where we're at right now, it's about an hour and a half up north just straight north, like, take, yeah. literally, you just take this road an hour and a half. Yeah. Actually, you only, you only take this road an hour, and then you go east for a half an hour. Is it different than, than around here? Because I've been an hour north, and it's, like, I mean, there's you get, diverse places, you like, get there's denser, really nice... You get denser trees. Oh, okay. Um, and currently we're relatively close to the lake, so you don't get as much lake breeze. Yeah. I feel like around here, it's not on like a good day, you can go outside and just smell the lake. I would want to go stargazing. Because I have never done that. Hey dude. I feel you. Uh, are you down to come with Seth and I when we go on our road trip? Right. Uh, probably closer to the end of summer. I don't know, maybe. A bit. Because he wants to go to Alabama, like, real bad. Like, that's why? The, that's the one, I don't know why. Well, not, he wants to go to all these different places. I'm not asking why. I'm not going to ask the man, hey, what's your reasoning for Alabama? I'm just like, hey, if you want to go to Alabama, I can get a trip out of this. Because the thing is, traveling alone is harder because, you know, whatever. You, it's one person driving, yeah. and you don't get anyone to talk to and all these, you know. But when you're traveling with a group of people, it's like you can split up the driving, you have people to talk to, and also everything becomes cheaper because then it's split three ways. Yeah. So when you travel with people, it's cheaper for everyone. Yeah. Because we're all in one car, and we're just... So basically, if it was like you, Seth, you and Seth, and I, we could fit probably one more person if it was this vehicle. My ex's mom drove all the way from Michigan to California. Yeah. They didn't switch drivers or anything, and I feel like that'd be so... But the day I came here, I you know, it's a podcast, so I want to tell some interesting stories. Like, I was talking about work earlier. Yeah. I feel sorry for people, because I feel like that was a really boring-ass story. <laughs> um, when I drove here, uh, I didn't sleep the whole day before, or the night before. And so I woke up at, like, 7 o'clock one day. I went, graduated high school. Or not graduated high school. That was the day before that. I went, had my party for graduation, did all that fun stuff. Went, hung out with my friend in Topeka, my friend Matt. I love that yeah. man. Matt, if you're listening, you call me for life in my heart. Love you to, to death. Anyway, um, that man and I, we share some special bonds. Yeah. We've got some stuff about like our dads. Yeah. yeah. We got some special bonds. That man is my dad. 
Bethesda anyway. Uh, homie Matt and I hang out all day. So, and my mom's like, make sure you get some good rest time before you go to Michigan tomorrow. And I'm going up north, and I want to get up there quick so I can see people. So, um, I'm hanging out with my homie, and we're chilling, and we got two other homies who come over, CJ and Kate, and we're all chilling at Matt's house, and one thing leads to another, and it's 2 o'clock, and I want to leave to go to Michigan, because I need to get to Michigan roughly at like 3 o'clock. Yeah. I need to be up north at 3 o'clock, and so, whatever. I map it, it's going to work out almost right. And so I leave at 2 o'clock without sleeping, without anything, just having partied with the homies. I legitimately fall asleep on the road. Legitimately. Yeah. Asleep. You're lucky to be alive. Yeah, I know. I went off the road, and it's not like I crashed or anything, but it's like I went off the road and I felt like the jostle of the car, like it yeah. shake, and I was like, oh shit, I'm off the road. And I went back on the road. And I did that. Like, I did, oh, fuck, I did that twice. Dead. Wow. And so uh, what I would do is intermittently about every hour, I'd pull off the road, take a 10 minute nap at a gas station. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That, was a, that was a rough day. You could also put like cold water on your face. Did you try that? No, I didn't jizz on my own mouth, but I should, I should try that. Yeah. Next time just put, put water on, cold water on your face and make you a little bit more alert. Oh but shit, this is a fucking intersection. But I but I would not recommend <laughs> I was like looking up there thinking that was yeah. No, that was but like, I would not recommend driving it off. Driving sleep deprived because the number one cost for Dude, accidents. did you see that? What? There's a police Yeah. <laughs> Ooh shit. I pulled I made the right decision there to stop. Yeah. But like the number one cost for accidents is people who are sleep deprived. Yeah, you would think it was texting no, no, and no, driving. I, I or wouldn't. Alcohol. I wouldn't think it's sexy and driving because having been there myself, it makes damn sense why it's sleep deprivation. Because when you have like a goal and you want to meet that goal, you're so driven that you don't even fucking you don't have a regard for yourself or other people. Yeah, you're like, dude, we're getting there, and I don't care what it takes. And anyway, so I added like two hours to the trip just in sleep alone. Yeah, but. I made it, and I'm alive, and guess what, whatever. We here. And we got 10 minutes, so we're just gonna go chill in the Sonic parking lot for 10 minutes. Why do we got 10 minutes? Because you gotta get half price shakes after, oh wait, shit. That's not, that's not eight, it's 10. It's already nine o'clock. Oh, damn. We're not waiting. See, half price shakes after eight. Boom, right there on the other side. Oh. It's like God is speaking to us, trying to tell you, hey, half price shakes after eight. Anyway, so that's what Damn, this place is hot. Dude, Sonic shakes are... <laughs> mm. yeah. It's daddy. I don't know if I've ever had Sonic shakes. Well, and also the car hops can be dope. I mean, back in... Back in Atchison. A good time. What do these signs say? Please no loitering. These stalls are closed. Do not park here. Do not park here. Okay, cool. Well, let's try to go to the stalls on the inside. I wonder why they just put snow fence on Because they still light up. They should turn the lights off, really. I wonder if the stalls on this side work, or if we legitimately just have to go through the drive-thru. <laughs> Are they all fucking closed? Yeah. That takes the fun out of Sonic. Like where people roll out. Please, and... no loitering. Please remain in your vehicle. Oh, dope. Okay, so no, this one... This one is, this stall is open, dope. This is an old place, though. Compared to, like, Atchison, Atchison, Kansas, where I come from. Oof, this place is old. What kind of shake you want, by the way? You got, you got uh, me to read them to you? Because you probably yeah. can't. So you got, like, two different kinds of shakes. You got shakes and master shakes. What the fuck? So I'll read off, I'll What's read the off. the difference? I'll, uh, it's, like, quality. It's, like, the shakes are just your basic flavors, and your master shakes are slightly better flavors. So I'll read off all the flavors. Okay. Vanilla, chocolate caramel, hot fudge, peanut butter, strawberry, fresh banana, not just banana, fresh banana, strawberry banana, strawberry cheesecake, cheesecake, Oreo cheesecake, Oreo chocolate, Oreo peanut butter, peanut butter fudge, banana cream pie, coconut cream pie. Holy fuck. Uh, the difference Peanut is butter Oreo. Oreo peanut butter and I'll get a coconut cream pie.
I wanted to pay for it this time. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Could I... Is there... Is it just a card only? No, no, no. The per, the, the car hop will come out and oh. you'll just be able to give them money. Sweet. Like, you just sit here while they... Like, I press that red button, just chill for a bit. Oh. <laughs> I was getting like really excited there for a second. <laughs> About what? You're gonna be like, what? what is she? It, was, it was really anticlimactic. No, I just act, I just asked what like the other person's name was. Oh. Because like, I feel bad. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Right now, this is like a kind of silent part because I don't want to just be talking while uh, these people may or may not be right for me to order. True. So it's going to be a little bit of silence. Can I just get a Oreo peanut butter, or uh, what size do you want, by the way? What sizes do they have? Uh, small, medium, large. Medium. Medium. A medium peanut Oreo peanut butter master shake and a large coconut cream pie master shake, please. Uh, 472. Okay. Damn. So yeah, finally from yesterday's podcast, we're getting our Sonic Shakes, because yesterday they were closed. We're dating these podcasts, because now we're like, one came one day, and then directly made the next one the day after. How long has this gone on for? Man, and... An hour 18. We gotta have a thousand podcasts, and, and uh... Dude, some days we might... send three years. <laughs> Hold up, we should... <laughs> <laughs> you guys... Uh, less than three years. Yeah. It means we're making more than one a day. Yeah, if they're... You get, you, it means that you and Seth have to do some while I'm at basic. Yeah. Because we can record them, like, after I'm out of basic, but for two months I'm going to be gone. Yeah. So, just... I'll, I'll definitely be able to talk to other people. Be ready for that. Yeah. Oh, you'll definitely be able to talk to other people? Yeah. Wow, thanks. I'm not special. No, you're you'll special. Be to, you'll be able to replace there's me. There's other special people, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm, special, I'm special ed. Oh. I wasn't special ed. You were? Mm-hmm. It's because I was in the gifted and talented, whatever, or gifted and something, because I have, like, an IQ of 145 or something like that. I'd like to get an IQ test. I need to get another one, because when I took it, I wasn't prepared. Yeah. How do you prepare for an IQ test? You don't, really. It's just, like, I didn't know I was taking an IQ test at the time. Yeah. I don't think I took it as seriously as I should have. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Let's just chill here. Also, I, 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 don't I don't feel like a smart person. You don't feel like a smart person? I feel like an average person. Yeah. I feel like I'm smart about certain things. Like... I don't know, people 
tend to underestimate them, and I think I kind of do that on purpose, where I just project myself in a way that's not too serious. And then, like, when I when I need to be serious, I can be, you know. I got you. Like, if I'm just chilling with friends, I can't get into, like, a serious debate, but, like, I don't know. I could get into a serious debate with anyone, even if we are friends, dude. Yeah. Especially if we're friends, because then I'm like, dude, I want to... I want to flex. Yeah. I, I want to flex, too. I want to build that debate muscle. Because that... You know, I want... Even, know. Especially with my homies, I'm like, you know, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to outsmart you. That's the goal? No, it's not the goal. <laughs> it's just, like, a thing I like to do sometimes. Yeah. I enjoy, like, logic. Just using logic and slapping people with it. Because I can't beat people up physically, because that's illegal. But yeah. I can show people up to be a dumbass and be like, I can make a person feel like I just beat the shit out of them, but in a logical way. It, like I it, can beat it, them up with brain. It feels empowering in a certain way, depending on how you define it empowering. But it can be empowering to know that you can crush crush someone's ego to the point of like, like the Jungian ego death. If if that's Jung who came up with that, that's where like destroys their concepts of their past and their future and like basically their conceptions of who they are where you just in a way um, take someone's beliefs so basically what you're saying is you kill motherfuckers on the inside yeah like if someone has really big beliefs you know like and you shatter take, that yeah if you shatter them and, and have a rebirth associated with that it's, it's like well, see, that's, that's positive though yeah that means you're helping that person I'll turn this off. And, I, and I, I'm really confrontational like that, where, like, if there's problems, I like to speak up about them, to where, like, other people, they like to just keep things, like, repressed and to not have any sort of conflict, you know? Yeah, I got you. But, yeah, like, this is what you Finally. All right. This is going to be, like, four, five dollars. Oh, where are you? We're yeah. doing, we're doing good. Four, seven, two. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Can we just get uh, 15 back? Sure, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good call. Yeah. See, look, dude, look at the big difference here, and look at the price difference then. Okay, you're going to make me feel like... I'm going to make you feel like a dummy. Yeah. yeah, what's the price difference? Uh, So, it's three ninety nine, and then four eighty nine, And then take half of that, so it's actually half of 90 cents. So a whole 45 cents difference. Damn. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Hold on. Let's shake. shake his OP. What the fuck is this? This is a print 1963 $5 bill. You want to keep that shit. What <laughs> fuck? the fuck? That's weird. That is I was so wondering because I like, one of these is not the right color. How did they come up with the background designs on the dollar bills? Like the new ones or the like old the ones? Like the geometry. And the... It looks like... I don't know. It looks like... Planes of grid. It's just an attempt warped. to make forgery hard. Planes of... Yeah, that's good way like like webs essentially yeah I got you but they're pretty intricate like like the that's like some modern computer graphics type shit I mean modern in the sense of like the past 20 years but they had do you think it was on with computer graphics no I think probably it was gritting no, I think it might have been, like, done by hand. Mm -hmm. mm. Math was involved, I feel like. Math? Yeah. Definitely. Out here, uh, peanut butter shit. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's kind of hard to eat. Dude, I was going to say, these straws suck. For sucking down some cream. I'm just using it like a scoop. 
If I wait it's, a little bit, it's basically ice cream. It'll liquid up a little bit, and then it'll be able to. It'll, us can drink it. By the way, technically, yes, I was in special ed. Okay. It's just a fun fact. So what's next? So how do you feel about the education system? Your experience with school? Uh, they waste a lot of money. Yeah. Like specifically for my time as a special ed student. Okay, so my school, I don't know how much money they got overall, but they spent $2 million, the small school, in Effingham, Kansas, spends $2 million on special education. None of that helped me. That all went to the le legitimate retard kids. They spent $2 million of probably their 10, I'd say $10 million budget. I'd rough guess. On kids who aren't going to be productive members of society, and we know that. Well, well, are they you saying have... it would be cheaper to just keep them vegetables and to entertain them instead of trying to make them competent. I'm saying that shouldn't be a public service, like, because the, the, that's coming out, that's tax dollars right there, and I, I don't remember when we voted for, hey, we need to try and give the retard kids an education. And, like, but that's not what I'm saying. Like, what I'm saying... Spend more on their education. What I'm saying here is we, in the special ed fund of $2 million... We didn't choose to give to these kids, like me, who are going to make big differences in, in this world. Who, when we spend this money on them, it makes a big impact on the world. Like, giving them extra tools in their lives could greatly impact the future of the world. We didn't give it to them. No, we gave it to these kids who literally aren't going to impact the world, and we probably know that for a fact. Well, you can say that about people that aren't in special ed, too, I feel like. Like, there's people who just don't see the value in school. So it's like, I feel that there should be more individuality in the things that you learn. I got you. Turn this off, actually. Like, yeah, you should be exposed to the big concepts like um, mathematics and um, all the, like, history is really important, I feel like, but... Um, I feel that if someone wants to study something, they can. They should be able to just study it. Like, if you want to learn math, just read the books, you know? Yeah. And even with that, like, you'd learn it at your own pace, too. Well, you, but you do Some need something pushy, push, though. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, you need, hey, you need to get this far by the end of the year. And then incentivize that. If you build an incentive program where the kids are actually interested in, that's how you do it. Five Lakes has little to no incentives. To do better? Yeah. What are they going to do? Give me a raise? No. Have you gotten a raise in your whole time there? No. Either way. Did they tell you you would get one after a certain amount of time? No. Did they tell that to you? Yeah. Huh. They said after two months. Hmm. You've been there for how long? I don't remember my start date, but it's nearly been a year. Hmm. Some bullshit. I think if it wasn't for Jordan Peterson podcast, though, I would be too agreeable, and I wouldn't even say anything about it. Or one of our co-workers there that was basically a manager, he was really a tyrant. And Talking about, his name was start with a T? Yeah, it, he used a fake name, so I'll just say his name was uh, 
Yeah, he used a fake name, so it doesn't even matter what name we say. But anyways, he was a tyrant. Captain Dickhead is his name. Yeah, he was a tyrant. He uh, he he got fired because he pushed a coworker. This is 2018, folks. Yeah. What you're saying is 2018 we shouldn't be firing co or we shouldn't be pushing coworkers? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I don't like the it's current year argument. <laughs> yeah. The it's current year argument doesn't have any basis. Like it's 2018. I get what you're I get what you're saying, but it's like um it's kind of crazy how slow Things change sometimes, like you'd assume that. Um, we'd see the value, or we'd be able to understand more as like a community of people that certain behaviors are like tyrants, or they make people slaves and makes people resent the companies and sabotage the companies. Is that a bad thing? Because no. they're treated like shit. Is tyrannical a bad thing? Yeah. Always? Yeah. Hitler. Tyrant? Mm-hmm. Bad thing. Is that a bad thing? Yeah. So him bringing the German people out of a depression is a bad thing. He brought the German people out of the depression of the Weimar Republic. I don't really understand that too much, but can you explain? Do you understand the idea of inflation? Mm-hmm. So basically, the German franc, at the time it was called the franc, worth basically nothing. A wheelbarrow full of money... So it's like, think of a wheelbarrow full of $100 bills, yeah. filled to the brim. The wheelbarrow was worth more. Yeah. People would tip it over, empty the wheelbarrow of the money, because it was just heavy, it was, mm -hmm. you know, it was worthless, and take the wheelbarrow, because it was worth more than the money inside. Yeah. Um, and so basically, that's 1920s Germany. By 1930s, he had revitalized the country. Turned it around, it became productive again. So where did it turn bad? What do you mean, where did it turn bad? Are you talking about the killing of the Jews? Yeah. That happened in the 1940s. With the answer to the Jewish question. Well, me and you both know that he was really orderly, and that he had quite the disgust, the quite the disgust sensitivity. Uh mm -hmm. And he believed in like purity with race or something like that. Mm -hmm. That was part of his disgust sensitivity. You probably watched that video from Peterson, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway, depending on what view you take, um, Hitler could be a good or a bad person. It's all on your definition of good person or bad person. He definitely helped the German people out of de depression without Hitler's work to helping the German people out of that depression. Yeah. It's unsure where the world would be at currently because Germany was a big powerhouse, uh, industrial center, and so without that kind of work, you know... Where would we be? How would would the American Depression have gone the same way if Hitler hadn't done what he did? Not with the Jews, obviously. The Jews was a, you know, plainly just a, a bad thing. You know, trying to genocide any race or group of people is just yeah a bad thing. I don't think that really needs to be said. But I'm saying one... When people are devalued as not um, parts of God, basically, like the, in the Enlightenment individualism idea. When people aren't valued like that, and they're seen as like animals or something like when they're devalued, it changes how you feel on treating them. You won't feel as morally obligated to... Uh, respect them as you would, say, a family member. Yeah. 
It's like with some people I know. Um, I don't feel bad thinking of them as almost non-human. You, you, you do see people as... It, I'm going to be honest. Like, I see that, too, sometimes where it's... It, I don't, like, see them as a person. I just see them as, like, a walking meat sack. As, I see some people as, like, um, sort of, like, unconscious um, patterns of behavior. Yeah, like it's unexamined. Like, they don't really have a personality. It's just they're they're a static character type. They're not a real person. They 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 don't have self um, reflection. Like they're just a walking mess of behaviors that are unexamined. Like like uh, uh, cycles of abuse or like uh, just got to the bottom of the shake. It's pure like graham cracker crumbs. You should bitch and be like, <laughs> you fucked up my shake. <laughs> you guys didn't shake it enough. <laughs> nah, it's dope. I kind of like it. Definitely should have been mixed in better, though. So how do you feel about Infinity War? This is spoilers, by the way. How do you feel about Infinity War? And the... do, 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 do. I haven't seen the movie. Oh. Well, you know the concept of Thanos and what he's... Do, 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 spoiler time, I do know the end of the movie. Is that where you're talking... Is that, <clears throat> is that Not necessarily the end of the movie, but, like, what he's trying to do. How, like, how he's trying to reduce the population in half. Yeah, and bring balance to the Force. What do you think about that? Uh... If you want a good example of that, look at the bubonic plague. Because it basically did the same thing to England. Yeah. And so if you look at the society both before, during, and after, you could see kind of that progression. Do you th- did they thrive afterwards? I have no idea. I, I legitimately don't know about it. That would be interesting to know. But I'm just trying to sound smart. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you how the society was before, during, or after. But I know, um... During was traumatic. Before was the Dark Ages. During, motherfuckers are just dying in the streets. Also, it brought around Plague Doctors, so you can't really say it's all a bad thing, because, I mean, Plague Doctors, dude. And then after was the Renaissance, so... Was it really the Renaissance after... Well, after, it came after, not directly after, but after. You know, mm-hmm. like in a hot timeline. Maybe they could be correlated. Or like, it could be like a wave. Where people had more freedom or resources. Yeah. So I, what I'm saying is I don't know. But, interesting question for sure, I guess. I don't know. What I'm saying is, like, if a person at home wanted to know, yeah, here's where they could be looking. <laughs> Do you know about Ebola? And Ebola there. I think Ebola there has a death ratio of nine out of ten. Ebola what? There, it's a strain of Ebola. There's different strains of Ebola. Some are as bad as the Black Plague, but the worst strain. Did you that. notice how Ebola was only relevant during political elections, and then directly after political elections, the talk of Ebola immediately disappeared? No. Honestly, like, the, the uh, biologic, or like, pathogen, if that's the word, um, just like... Diseases and biological weapons, like that's still really relevant. And how uh, organisms can just mutate and kill off ninety percent of a population. I don't know if you know what I'm getting at here. Hmm. Ebola in the news controversy was a big thing. Oh, only during political elections. 
once play collections had ended, the news didn't care about it anymore. Are Who you, cares about people dying in Africa? Did it do anything like that during the Trump and... That's what I'm saying, yeah. What happened? I mean, I don't know when Ebola was a big thing, but I just remember it was during a political election. Did anything like that happen this election? Did I don't... Like I said, I don't know when it was. It was one of the elections. It was either this recent one with Trump, or it might have been the 2012 one. I forget. 2012. What? It is 2012. When Ebola was a big thing? Yeah. Um... So, there you go. Ebola is very scary, actually. It's very terrifying. Uh, to you? Yeah. Like, um, the way you die from it is very gruesome. You basically liquefy. Or liquefy. Uh, do you have any, anywhere else you want to go over here? Um, I could go to Meyer. Do you again. want to? Yeah. I should have gotten food last time we went. But All right, cool. I didn't. Let's go. I like to shop for my foods because when I do that I, that's when I lose weight if I eat the food that all the people buy at my house I might actually gain weight you don't know how to lose weight it's just fucking eat eggs yes eat just eggs yeah it's funny because I was talking like when I was in the going through navy shit I was talking to one of our uh, like fucking chiefs mm-hmm. is what we call them and he's like, I mean, you can be eating eggs that has fat in it. Like, <laughs> like, retard kid. Yeah. Fat doesn't mean that you're immediately going to gain weight. Yeah. People are... So, <laughs> it, it, it's <coughs> it's funny this? how people will um, keep these wrong ideas going. And so confidently. Yeah. He's like, obviously because this was mass thought when I was like, you know, 30. Obviously it's just fact. Obviously, eggs are just made of fat, and it's a bad thing for you. It's like, dude, hold up, take that stick out your ass. And did you calm have to? Down. Did you straighten them out? No, I, I, there was no way I'm gonna talk to my the fucking chief in the the naval chief in the Kansas City, Missouri area, especially in front of his subordinates. Oh, I would have. I'm not going to speak to him like a bitch, because that's a good way to get your cheeks clapped. Like, fucking, if I if I <laughs> felt like dying that day, sure. But you know what? I was quite content with just living to tomorrow at the time. See, that's so, how tyranny starts. Uh, yeah, sure, because it's the fucking military and there's tyranny all over. It's not like I'm yeah. going like to single-handedly end tyranny by telling this one motherfucker that eggs aren't that bad for you. You know, um, I might disagree with you there. <laughs> I think I could totally end tyranny by telling this one motherfucker yeah. that eggs are, like, cool. Dude, coming back to the to the homeland of this, this recorder here. Back at the good old homeland. Because the conclusion of tyranny is it that it's the fault of the government it's the fault of every single individual in the system so what you're saying is if there's tyranny it's my fault yeah <clears throat> but it's not it's within a yeah i was gonna say it's within a system it's not the whole government what it is is just like the military and there's tyranny because that's just the way it's actually set up like in our creeds we agree to the fact that there's going to be tyranny really yeah What does that look for? I don't know. But well, okay, so there's. Did they you like tell recognize you? one of those people or something? No. Okay, I was confused. Okay. Well, I recognize them in a the sense that like there's a familiar type of people. Yeah, yeah, that woman, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Same here. I was like, I was like, do I know? Again, I don't know people well enough, and they don't know me well enough, so no, I there could I couldn't have an awkward interaction. But yeah, I get what you mean by that. That scene of person. Yeah. That's crazy because there's like there's definitely like wavelengths of cultures of people. I feel you. And I don't know. You can learn a lot about someone based on how they like dress. Honestly. Mm-hmm. I'm really interested to like. On I feel like soon I will get to know 
that kind of person more. Yeah. Especially because I'm talking to like rel two of them. Yeah. I'm getting pretty, pretty good with them. Too. Yeah. But anyway, um, so I'm really interested to learn that. Yeah. That's that's actually going to be a very interesting experience for me. I'm looking for eggs. Eggs? Come follow. <laughs> I understand stores well, so I can lead you to the eggs. So, the secret to losing weight is to eat eggs. Honestly, like, I really... Deadass, dude. I really resonate with that. Dude, you guys... Do you want, maybe I should just buy a whole bunch... Dude, I should just go through a week where I only eat eggs. <laughs> Work out, eat eggs. Work out, eat eggs. I get sick of eggs. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's why you add salt to them. The thing is, as long as you don't care, you that's can add, you make, can add salt and butter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. You can chef them. You can chef them in such a way as they're more palatable. Yeah. Dude, giant ass things of coffee. I totally would. Tropicana. Sipping. Meat. Usually the eggs are closer down to the meat, but I guess not. Whatever. Oh, where are the eggs in this place? Now I'm confused. Wait, I don't know. Oh, eggs. At least I think that says eggs. I'm slightly blind, so I can't quite see so that too you, well. Did you take some before and after pictures of when you lost weight? Nope. Fuck. I'm not that kind of person. What do you mean that I, kind of person? I don't want proof. I don't want proof of anything. I don't want proof that I ever looked any certain way. Dude, no to. I just want to do it in the background. No, I just want to do it in the background. I want to personally, like, you ever shop at Aldi's? Yeah. Love Aldi's. They have cheap eggs. Really? <laughs> it's like 69 cents for a dozen. Wow. Well, they're I, also probably not, like... I kind of want cage-free. If I, I can. I'm going to hang myself. What? Because I'm going to hang myself. <laughs> the, the words I said is, I'm going to hang myself. <laughs> Would you like me to say again? I'm going to reply with it. I'm gonna hang myself. <laughs> Thoughts? Um, where uh, where do we find the rope? <laughs> There's something in my trunk. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There's a proper length and strength in my trunk. How do you know the proper length and strength? I don't know, but I know my brother did, and that's he put it in there. Really? Yep. I say I don't I don't know the proper that's length of string, the, but that's quite I, the meme. I know Alex does and he put it in there. I need to throw this away. Anyway, all those eggs were cage free. Yeah, I see that, but I need to like get this out of the camp. Also you probably need to want a cart or something. Yeah. I enjoy holding my keys in this hand too because then it doesn't look like I'm holding an audio recorder. And this looks like I'm maybe holding like a big key fob or something. Dude, I've had to record Seth as he goes inside of a pet store. Dressed in an alien costume and like runs up to the workers, crawling on his all fours, and he'll pat his head. So basically, what he's doing is some pink guy shit. He's, yeah. He's trying to do evolution of pink guy. Yeah, exactly. He like, and he was trying to get people to pat him on the head, and like he he did. He got them to pat. That's fucking dope. Yeah. I mean, I would. I'd be one of those people that did pat him on the head. Yeah. Be like. Yeah. I mean, especially because I know Seth, though. I, mean, I guess it, it kills it because I know Seth. If, if someone ran up to me and was all, all for us in the alien costume, I would definitely pat them on the head. <laughs> you immediately. Don't even, they don't even have to ask for it. They don't even get a bag. Just, you see an alien on all fours and you're like, yeah. What if it was an actual alien, though? Like, what if that wasn't even a person in a costume? Straight up real ass alien you just pat on the head. Wait, okay. you weren't you weren't tossing that, you were just tossing the receipt? Yeah. You could have just tossed that in your pocket, you know. Yeah. If, okay, if you did me an, an intelligent hire or a higher intelligent and you could communicate with me. What would you say to it? What would I say to it? Yeah. Yo, bro, do you eat ass? <laughs> bro, on your on your galactic planet, do you eat ass? 
Because, dude, I think I think that's an enlightened thing. Only enlightened people do that. So I think is the en- I think the enlightened people, like the enlightened beings, only eat ass. Is ranch legalized in your planet? Ranch on your planet? <laughs> is ranch not nah, is weed legalized? <laughs> yeah. Now I'd be like, what are your th- what are your thoughts on God? What are your thoughts? I, I want no. Thoughts? I want to know like I want to know intergalactic religions. Yeah. Because yeah. religion can't just be a human idea. Therefore, I want to be like asking these galactic beings, "Yo, what's your thought on Jesus?" My God, I want one of these right now. Why? Why did you say, "Oh my God"? Just We're looking at sushi right ass now. Shit, is it really expensive? Look Holy at that ten dollars for fucking raw rainbow roll. Uh, this is seven bucks. I'd probably pay seven bucks. For this, this is six dollars. Let's go. All right, we got some sushi. <laughs> That's nice going places. We got sushi now. Yeah. I think I'm gonna stop this at should, two. Should I get a cart? I'm gonna stop this at two hours, and then we're gonna start a new recording. Yeah. Um. So we're we're ten minutes away from two okay. hours. Okay. Okay. I'm. Gonna, I want to get a cart. Okay. <laughs> a car, carts are back here. Do you want me to grab your sushi while you go grab a cart? Sure. That way it doesn't look like you're like walking out the door. <clears throat> so right now you're gonna get a special time with Cameron. Chase has run off. He's chasing down a cart to grab and so we can ride, glide, and slide. I want to tell you, you're all special to me. Love you. Um, God, I always wait for these special times alone with you and, and tell, you, tell you what, they're always really meaningful to me. It's always the best part of my day when I get some time alone. Just me and you, talking, chit-chatting, having a laugh, having a goof, having a gaff. So, thank you for being here, and I hope you have a good day. Chase is coming back now. My alone time with you is going to be gone soon. Have a good day. We're back with Chase. We're shopping the opposite way as college students. Like, the first thing we do, we buy sushi. What's the first thing that college students do? They spend all their money on sushi and then they're like, oh fuck, we gotta eat ramen noodles now. Oh, dude. Wait, so wouldn't the background, backwards way be buying ramen noodles first, then sushi? Uh, we're, we're doing it the college kid way probably right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> really. Deadass, except like we're, not buying, the, we're not buying anything sweet because we just ate sweet shit. I like, like how the desserts and shit say treat yourself. Is like, they all just look like shit to me right that now. That is the biggest like brainwash. Dude, no, I just love. This all looks amazing to me. It looks amazing to you. Yes. Hold up, you're not, you're not, you, you're been eating too many carbs. <laughs> yeah. Because if you didn't eat this many carbs, this one, no, we're walking away. Okay. Because <laughs> if, if you had, if you had less carbs in your life, none of that would look good. I, I literally feel like to it, me, it's that all looks like garbage. Yeah. So I think it's just like that probably looks good to you or something. Yeah. I think it was today that You've I... You've had too much carbs recently. Yeah, today I ate half of a cookie and I just made my cravings go nuts. Half of a cookie? Yeah. <coughs> Damn. Like I ate at Subway. Dude, Subway sucks ass. What? I don't like Subway. They're too expensive for me. Okay. Because it's mostly bread anyway. You're, like, not getting much of a sandwich for that money. I feel like... I just need one of these. Yo, so before we end this podcast, which comes in six minutes, I'd like to say again that listen to Chance the Rapper, I swear. Chance the Rapper just makes me happy. The song Sunday Candy is a really good one. Also, I listened to one today that I was thought was extremely enlightening. I forget what it is. But listen to You Song, which is actually by Lil Wayne, the Chance the Rapper. It's a great time, too. Is that so? I'm, that is very. That is extremely correct. That amount of eggs. I don't know how long. How long it'll last you? That amount of eggs would last me about a week. Yeah. I, I just. You know. just bought two weeks of eggs. Yeah. I feel like although if I was eating only eggs, that would last me one, two, three, four, five, six. That would last me one day less than a week. Yeah. I'd use an extra egg a day. I eat like two eggs a day because 
I mean, I can eat three, I even can, four sometimes, but... I can definitely eat four for, like, if I had a single daily meal, I think four eggs is a good daily meal. It's probably a good that amount of protein. Not a, not a good idea to do one daily meal. Why not? Wait, no, no. If you only eat one meal a day, that's extremely healthy. I feel like... Usually it's a bigger two, meal, though. Yeah, I feel like if you eat two, that, that would be more optimal. Nah, man. One meal a day. Just binge one time every day. Yeah, one time. No other meals. Okay. Or, either, either you just go for one meal, or you can also go... Wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Damn, I got out of a decent time. Gym? I didn't know if we're going to the gym today or not. Why the fuck was I going? Okay. I would totally want to do the coffee. I want to do the college kid thing right now. Sushi and fucking iced coffee. I want to so bad. No man, iced coffee is entirely too expensive. Yeah, it definitely is. Even the cold brew over there is like fog. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end this here soon. Um, because we're still shopping in Meyer. Yeah. So uh, I'll we'll, we'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. What the fuck, dude? Do they have pickled eggs here? What the fuck is up?